And they have the opposite. People like that, you know, vegetarians or vegans all their life, da da da, and then. You get hit by a bus and Yeah cause he like, you like So during COVID <laughs> what, <dude? laughs> so during Buses are killing vegetarians <laughs> What's up, it's Adon, and god damn, my headphones are way too loud right now. Um, and here with Beria Bros, but you don't like a couple pairs of bros. <laughs> Sounds even better the second time. <laughs> so, uh, Junior, Lily, thank you guys for uh, coming on. So, Beria Bros, why would you, why'd you call it Beria Bros? Is it just, is it you guys that started it? No, so there's actually like a whole background story behind Beria Bros, and... Uh, uh, no, we were mentioning before the second cut, but we were mentioning that a lot of uh, businesses started up uh, during COVID, right? Like a bunch of small businesses, you know, it was like food, candy, podcast, you know, I was kind of in that loop as well. And, you started uh, a podcast? No, I didn't. <laughs> I know there's a couple guys that did. Yeah. And where are they at now? They're right here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I, I actually initially started with, uh, always had this concept and idea of like starting a business, right? Yeah. Um, Always food? Not, not particularly food, because I did try like social media marketing at one point. I was doing like photography and little cinematography stuff. Um, again, it was like you try to find the right people, you try to find the right group to kind of do it. Because now being in the business, you know, you, you you look at like one person can't do it all. You know, just like the po- podcast here. You it know, is a lot. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. lot. It's a lot behind the scenes, and sometimes like people don't take credit mm. or credit that too too much. And uh, to me, it was like, I always wanted to be like in, in the business doing something. Um, I, I was like, I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm going to just try try everything out, right? So I actually like um, started a business plan with uh, a burgers. I was like, you know, I think Dalton needs a burger joint, mm-hmm. kind of focus on different burgers. I even had like a whole name, a whole menu. And so you always, always cooked? Always good at cooking? No, or? dude, I actually hate cooking. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, that's what you do when you, when you hate cooking. You start yeah, a restaurant. Start a restaurant. <laughs> what an oxymoron! No, but because I, I fucking like, love talking, so I feel like podcast was great. Hey, first of all, he's not a moron, man. He started a restaurant, dude. <laughs> what did I say? He said oxymoron. He said sexy moron. Oh, or something. Dude. <laughs> not that oxymoron is like, you know, you're doing something that's Oxy-clean. like it's like a big, like a big guy, a really big guy called Tiny. Oh, you know? I thought you insulted this man. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, but I feel like that's how like a lot of uh, like business owners are like they just get into things that they hate but it just ends up happening yeah in that like, way so recently like, i actually had a, a friend of mine that came up to me and he was like he's like no that makes sense he's like because he's in like the construction business right and he was like dude i hate getting underneath like the houses i hate plumbing and i was like what you know he's like <laughs> why are you doing it? yeah why are you doing it he's like but he loves the business he loves like the other things the remodeling painting the you money know? yeah and yeah he does <laughs> that too but um so it was like same with me, you know. It's like you know, I love the marketing. I love uh, interacting with people. I like creating menus. I like throwing really? my ideas okay. out. You know, so it's like the kitchen. Yeah, that's like your most important thing, and that's the thing you it's need your to product. focus on. Yeah, it's your product. So to me, it's like yes, I do care for it. I do like it, but it's not like I want to be in there a hundred percent of the time. Right. You know, because I do want to focus on the back end of of the because it, I get, at the end of the day, it is a business. You know. I mean, so, you, so what what burgers were you uh, making just? So I was I actually have a like a burger list on my on my phone. Like I was just like a big burger enthusiast. Just going, <laughs> yeah, I just, he's, he goes crazy, crazy on it. <laughs> yeah, dude, I went crazy. Like I would actually go to like Atlanta, Chattanooga, you know, and I locally. like bur- burger meats. And, then, and if it satisfied him, he'd be like, check. <laughs> yeah, I would check. We'll check go it back out, again. You know? right. But there was like one burger that still sticks out to me, and uh, this, let's talk about it. And this restaurant <laughs> stopped selling it. Uh, uh, what? I know it stopped selling, it, but it was like a chorizo and. Uh, beef meat infused patty okay. and it had like guacamole on it and they had lettuce tomato uh brioche bun uh yeah. dude it was it was awesome you know what burger i really like i like the the one at steak and shake they stopped selling it uh <laughs> some some jalapeno something mm, jalapeno, jalapeno poppers 
crunch, jalapeno. Crunchy jalapeno. Oh, yeah, you right. Whatever, yeah, they stop Bro, selling. Let's talk about Steak and Shake for a minute. No, dude. please, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, they no, don't no, sell yo, tenders. So, so like... <laughs> they don't sell tenders no more? They don't sell they tenders. Don't. <laughs> they don't. Dude, they took chicken and salad off the menu. It's they all, did. like, they maybe, did. like, five burgers, and mm-hmm. that's it. Yes, five burgers. Dude, mm-hmm. all right, so ever since COVID started, dude, Steak and Shake went fucking downhill. Like they were uh, not 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 twenty four seven right. Remember, nah. that, was, that was one that was one big yeah, thing they had. Thing, yeah. They took they took breakfast off. They took all the salads, all the chicken stuff off. They're like y'all, this shit's selling great. Let's take it off. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> yeah. But nah, dude, steak and shake was my spot. Like I used to live like maybe five minutes. Bro, away tell from them, steak and tell them how many girls used to take a steak and shake. Dang, tell nah, them, nah, 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 I didn't take. <laughs> now we need to hear this story. Yeah, but uh, no, nah, steak and shake used to be my spot. So like every time you get like drunk or whatever, it's steak and shake or yeah. like it's either steak and shake while you take all the girls down. Yeah, but you know, steak and shake was always like the number one. Go, you know, yeah. He's tell uh, girls, he's like, Yo, you're gonna steak and then you're gonna shake that ass. For me. <laughs> he would say that all the time, bro. Literally, it was the most annoying God, thing. what is he, a freaking douchebag? Yeah. He would tell me, like, Yo, I'm taking a steak and shake. You know what I'm about to say. I'm like, Oh, here we go. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no, like, I used to like fuck with heavy, and then, uh, yeah, like after COVID, it just it went downhill, and like, it ain't the same. Like, Fresco Mel was like probably like, the main thing I would get all the time, but like, now it's just like. I think I had it maybe like Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. And nah. That sounds so long ago, dude. Monday I mean, or Tuesday. Yeah, like, I mean, like, I haven't had it like in a minute, but I had it Monday or Tuesday oh. and it wasn't the same, dude. Like it, Damn. at all. Dang. But that's one thing I noticed about uh, even like franchises. Like yeah. they've limited their menu. And it's like, again, being in the industry, you kind of see the back ends of stuff. You know, like we've seen prices like fluctuate like crazy. Yeah. Um, again, like talking back to the birria, like even for like I use uh, one cut specifically in there too. It's a short rib. And I saw those prices go from like three dollars and change to like the next week going to like thirteen dollars. God yeah. damn! And yeah. what what exactly is birria? Because I mean, I know like probably around here people are very like used to it. But I remember when I first moved out here, like people were like, "Oh, birria tacos!" I was like, "What the hell is this?" I thought I'm it was like, like a, I thought it was like a new thing, dude. I'm like, yeah. are "You insulting me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you calling me right now?" You know? No, but we do get that question asked a lot. You know what is birria? Yeah. Um, so to us, you know, birria, uh, it's it's new, at least to the East Coast. I know West Coast, uh, they, they've been doing it since like 2014, 2015. Yeah, it's a Tupac in them. Yeah, yeah, you know, way back then, you know. But, uh, but Also, so so it is a new concept. It's not like yeah. I'm just catching, okay. No, I, feel, no, no. I feel like you definitely would see, like all these videos now with the birria and stuff, you definitely would see that like, Oh, at fucking West Coast Customs or whatever. Yeah, yeah. No yeah kind of like Cali or like bigger, bigger cities. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bigger cities. West Coast Customs. So exhibit yeah. was pimping rides. And they were fucking. I could not think of a restaurant man, <laughs> to save my life. No, exhibit was like, yo, man, I put a flat top in the back of your truck. So they're not bringing tacos. Pretty big beer tacos. Yeah. So I put a fucking cow in the yeah. back. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If you had a if you had a '62 fucking Toyota Corolla, dude, <laughs> exhibit would put a fucking flat fucking flat top thing yeah, in the, the back. Yeah, the one with the popcorn machine in there. Yeah, yeah. Right. that's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's like, you have a gambling problem. So. <laughs> We put a whole yeah. casino in So the we're back. gonna feed your addiction My <laughs> engine is literally Falling apart But I can have popcorn Whatever the <laughs> fuck I want <laughs> That's great uh, yeah. But birria Again it's a, essentially Like a like a sister To barbacoa mm. Oh okay yeah. Which barbacoa is You know barbacoa Is just pretty much Like a shredded Thin meat You know that's uh, What animal does it come from That one comes from uh, You can do it De res Or you can do it De puerco you know, so you nice pig or, 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 or a cow. cow? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the rest is more common, you mm-hmm. know, and that's that's what we stuck with because birria, essentially the, the story behind that, you know, it's, it's goat meat. Mm-hmm. And that's that's the traditional birria way. But, you know, we'd want to do res because that's what obviously sells and what people yeah. are more comfortable eating, right? Because you want to say, oh, I'm, I'm going to feed you a goat. You're going to be like, oh, she going to feed me me? That. <laughs> that's, 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 that's cannibalism, baby. <laughs> you know, I'm going to eat myself. <laughs> that's cannibalism. Uh, I feel like I'd be down eating a goat. That doesn't sound that crazy to me. Does that sound no. crazy to people? Well, to me, it's like... Some I think people, it does, yeah. Some yeah. people. I think yeah, because I've, I mean, we, we talk about menudo, right? We talk about tri. We talk mm-hmm. about uh, lengua, the tongue. And people are like, oh, man, like, yeah. you eat that? See, and actually, Le- lengua's like, eh. but but go. I feel like that's just like, no, but you be making out with girls all the time, though. You be getting <laughs> that lengua. I do. True. They be getting that lingua too. <laughs> <laughs> But uh now my brother uh he married uh a like, white woman. A white yeah, a white a white chick from uh oh. Murray County. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're supporting yeah, from Murray County. Oh. Uh-huh. No, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, happy, so man. so like whenever uh my parents would make food and stuff, like uh my brother would have to like lie to my sister in law, like you know what it actually was. These are chicken nuggets. <laughs> until until like she ate it and she liked it, she was like, Oh, this is actually pretty good. And then he would be like, Oh, you know, you just ate the fucking cow tongue. 
on your big cow head or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whatever it is. Dang. They divorced something. And, then, and what would she say? Would she feel... She would be surprised, but then, like, if she liked it, she's like, I don't care. I'm going to keep yeah. on eating yeah. that shit. You just but, ate a small Somalian child. <laughs> 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 and, like, now, now, like, she'll eat whatever, like, you know, whatever's, like, made at the time. Yeah, that's, and, uh, and that's the thing. You know, everybody has a different palate, you know? Yeah. That's the term that I've been picking up on is the palate, the palate. you know? Because to me, the sense, what I love about this is, you know, it's like, Food is in a sense of like art, at least to me. You know, I love art and I love ideas. And um, again, this will kind of driven me into like starting up Birria Bros. You know, but back to uh, what it actually is. You know, that's that's what it is to me. I use uh, three different cuts, which is uh, your chuck roll, uh, your short rib, and uh, we also do uh, the what is it called? The uh, chamorro. Yeah, the I forget, uh, shin. It's called the. Uh, what it is? What is it? A brain fart. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a brain fart too. But those are essentially the three cuts that, yeah. that we go with, you know. <laughs> and it takes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, Bonzo didn't like, bring his laptop today. <laughs> uh, I, thought, I thought I was like, why are you looking up stuff on his phone? Man? <laughs> all right, all right. But it's, you know, it's a six to eight hour process, you know, that you're cooking these meats with spices. And uh, how many hours? Six to eight. Whoa. Yeah, and I, I reason I learned that one is because uh, in, in com- being in a commercial kitchen, it's more different, you know, because we started from the back of our house, you know, back in 2020 during mm-hmm. during COVID, and uh, but yeah, so we, I know I'm kind of getting side off track a little bit, but going back to the original uh, idea was the burgers, right? So then my I had a, a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, uh, his name is a. Uh, Marco Martinez. Shout out you know, Marco Martinez. Uh, shout, out Marco. shout out Marco. And he's the one that actually uh, brought up the idea of uh, the birria tacos. He said, hey, man, you know, would you mind helping me take some pictures and do some videos? And, you know, we'll go from there. So I went to his house, you know, took a couple pictures, videos, and, dude, his Snapchat was just blowing up. Nah, yo, give me some. Yeah. yeah. And, like, and he, he started with a little batch, and he was just giving it away just to test the waters, you know? Oh, like, so, like, little, like, batch of tacos? Yeah, like, you get yeah. three, four tacos with some salsa and call it a day and with even with some like little con- little bit of consomme which again is part of part yeah. of the birria what's what the, what, okay, what does it say I don't know, I gotta... so the consomme is like a little um it's like a little sauce too and, right and what is it what all is so consomme broth. is actually like the broth right so just like when we eat menudo and stuff or Ooh. pozole so it's the stuff that's in the bottom of the meat yeah that's considered your consomme it's just like the, the, Yo, the so soup. why the fuck they charge you extra for that shit it isn't in there <laughs> anyway <laughs> well that so that that's that's where you kind of like got to understand like as far as business goes right because you you want to you want to sell as much product as you can because some people specifically will just look for the consumer mm-hmm. uh, it's like it's like a tradition thing well you know? i get it if you're selling it by itself but if you're selling it with the taco i mean like it's already part of the it's in the pot it's not like you're making it you know what i mean yeah yeah uh, i get you and again this is just part of the process of, of the birria right you, you try to make as much plates or as much ideas possible right in a business standpoint yeah, you know, and uh, but again, like the meat is you know transferred onto a flat top, grilled, and then transferred back into the consomme. So the okay. consomme essentially is what's like keeping it hydrated. Yeah, keeping it keeping it moist because it does dry out if you don't if you don't have that. So it a sense you're talking about like how how it's not included. Well, sometimes it's like. I got to a point where I was running out of it, and I was like, I had to remake it, mm. you know. So again, because the ratio is not the same for me and and con- consume. Yeah, consume. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Where does that Where does that name come from? Because you're cons- you're consuming it, consume. Pero está consumiendo. Bro, it's from myself. Yeah, it comes from the Spanish <laughs> Spanish origin. Yo, but the the chamorros uh, is beef shank. Yeah, hey, beef dude, shank. you're a chamorro. It's <laughs> and it, it comes off the leg. It's, it comes off the cow leg. Yeah. How crazy does George look right now? Look at this guy. If he didn't know this guy, but all this guy sells drugs. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> I just got a haircut, man. I just feel like you I You tell to, me like, doesn't look insane right I now. I look like crazy right now. You look good, man. You look yeah, you look good, good bro. Stay, 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 yeah, stay. You, look, I mean, you look great. You just look insane is all I'm saying. <laughs> no, yeah, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> no, I, had, like, I had a Guayavera on before this, too. I just changed. <laughs> Guayavera. But I was like, oh, we're going to brunch tomorrow, so I'll just wear that. <laughs> nice. We are, we are. <laughs> but um, so... <laughs> All right, man. So let's take it back a little bit with you guys. So where were you guys born? Uh, I was actually born and raised here in Dalton, Georgia. Okay. Go yeah. dogs. Welcome, Welcome home. home. Yeah. I was born here in Dalton, too. Okay. <laughs> Welcome home. What, what part of Mexican, right? Yes. My mom is from Guanajuato, and my dad is from Jalisco. Wow. Ah. Yeah. yeah. And then my, uh, my dad was from, from uh, San Luis, and my mom is from Guanajuato. Ah, GTO, GTO. Yeah, GTO. So what were you guys doing? Um, so, so you started, whatever, the BDO Bros? What were you doing um, before? We still working here and there? Or? Yeah, you, you know, you're working your, your corporate yeah. job. And then what are you doing? It just uh, every weekends you're making the. Yeah, we were doing it. Uh, so we were prepping Friday night, and then we would post. How long? How long does it take it for, for all your prepping? 
that like, took six hours probably. Yeah, six hours. Yeah. You know, from the time we got off of work and oh. got in the kitchen. You know, because yeah. we treated our kitchen like, like if it was a commercial like kitchen, right? You just wipe everything down. Yeah. You use gloves. You use mm -hmm. different cutting boards. Mm -hmm. You know, so we were just trying to you know already accustom that culture, right? We, yeah. Obviously, we were like whenever we come into an actual space because that was the goal right you already like, be like used to it yeah you won't be used new. to it and then that essentially that was our, our goal you know i feel like i'm a firm believer of like whatever you say and you try to achieve that goal you, mm -hmm. you can get there you know so i was like one day we'll, we'll be in an actual space mm -hmm. but yeah it would take six to eight hours uh, as long as you know as far as to uh, putting the meat outside putting it in a pot letting it boil mm -hmm. and uh the really time consuming thing about that was the uh, making the puree yeah puree yeah puree yeah, the uh, so we uh Put puree into our birria, which is essentially like the, the, the marinade. Yeah, it's oh, like, okay. it's like marinade, the dried up yeah. spices and the dried up chiles that you put in mm -hmm. puree. And uh, yeah, it was just me, my wife, my friend Marco, and, and his brother and my brothers, and that was just like your OG team. And, and just know? outside of uh, at, at your homes, yeah. outside of your home. So like you know, part of it was outside, part of it was inside. You know, we we're putting them in containers, oh, labeling it. My fridge was just you know. So, yeah. so 2020, so how did that uh, first, well, when did you guys decide, I'm like, all right, yo, you guys, give, so were you giving out batches, right? And then when did you decide, I'm like, okay, I'm, let's try to sell this weekend, or how did that, how did that come about? So again, back back to Marco coming back to me, he was like, hey, man, we, we need to start, or can you help me sell these tacos, right? And I was like, yeah, dude, I'm done, fuck it. Like, this sounds a whole lot easier than making burgers, yeah. you know, <laughs> in my head. So we did it, you know, we started off with one grill, and then uh, we bought like a little tarp tent, mm -hmm. we bought some coolers to keep everything cool. And uh, we, I told him, all right, so if we're going to do, like, something like this, like, let's just come up with a name, let's come up with a logo, right? Because I'm, like, thinking business-wise. And uh, he's like, yeah, like, let's, let's come up with ideas. I'm just throwing ideas. And he actually came up with the concept of, of the logo. And uh, most people don't catch on to this, but it's actually two Bs backwards. And it, it, and, and it forms the bull. Uh, yeah, that's one thing I love okay. about our logo. The logo, yeah. Two Bs backwards. That's yeah, crazy. like, one's backwards and one's forward, you know? <clears throat> right. But, uh, yeah, and then we just, we start off, I think, with, like, 50 pounds, mm -hmm. 60 pounds. 60 pounds, and then we and pushed to 100. And then well, where, you get, where are you getting the meat from? We were going from uh, Carneseria Loa. Yeah, Loa. Don't ask me the number, bro, because there's so many <laughs> there's out there. So yeah. many. They are. <laughs> you know? I just say the one close to the mill. To the mill, yeah. To the, the mill, mill, yeah. The mill place. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, then... Uh, it's like on East Morris, It was crazy, oh, bro. Okay, like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Well, I was number four. So you were just getting it from like a, like a, like a normal carniceria. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. A, okay, yeah, we okay. didn't have a vendor. Yeah, we didn't have... Yeah, cut us a deal because we didn't... We weren't legit. <laughs> or, or, yeah. But we did get to a point where like we were buying so much that they were like, oh, we'll cut off a couple... Right. So many wow. cents after every pound. Cents, yeah. But yeah, dude, so like we actually kept up with times. You know, the fastest time we sold out because that was our essential goal, right? It was always like, oh, let's sell out, sell out. And we sold out in about an hour and twenty, about an, mm -hmm. an hour and a half. A hundred pounds of meat mm -hmm. in an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. And Holy then I crap. think the longest time was like three hours, but that was like a weekend where like you know the Georgia game was going, going on. on. Downtown going was on. Downtown was having something. But still three yeah. hours though. That's, that's, that's not bad. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And then that's uh, and that's when I like kind of saw an open opener. I was like, dude, this is this is awesome. Like this is something that I would really would like want to pursue and just you know that this like you said you know. You, in business, it's always like supply and demand, yeah, right. right? We saw the demand, and we saw like the the hype, and we saw because mm -hmm. yeah. essentially it was a, a hype at one point. You know, yeah, the yeah. hype. Yeah, people were like, "Man, yeah. we gotta get these tacos." Yeah, and now I, 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 I remember hearing about it a lot too. Yeah, because yeah. I I remember um, there was a spot in Atlanta. I forgot the name of it now. Is it uh, Pierre El Gordo? Yeah, that yes. one. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, my my wife, she has like family in Atlanta. We went to go visit one day, and and like on the way back, I was like, "Yo, we should like stop and like see what what the hype is." You know? Yeah, yeah. We pull up to the spot, and I, I kid you not. So, like, the location is, like, um, I guess it's, like, a little shopping center behind it. The spot is, like, a little square, mm -hmm. and then, like, it's the shopping center next to it or whatever. Mm -hmm. The line started from the front door, wrapped around all the shopping center, all the way to the back. God damn. And Dude, then, I like, believe it. we couldn't find parking. We couldn't find nothing. And then, like. I was like, fuck this shit, dude. I was like, this is like at least like a three hour wait just to get into this place. And I was like, we just go fucking find somewhere, <laughs> somewhere else. Somewhere else to go to eat, yeah. 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 And then uh, we ended up just finding like a little taco spot down there. But yeah, no, I just thought it was insane. Well, yeah, like that, that happened too. Like at my house, you know, when we started at my house, uh, people were like lining up all the way from my driveway all the way to like almost at the end of the road. And it's like four houses deep at least. And at one point, you know, I was like, holy crap, like what if one day like the cops pull up or like what do you do? Like you, we ran that risk, right? Of yeah. like, 
you know, somebody well, pointing. What is it, what, well, I mean, I guess I don't know, blocking the road? What do you think? Do you think it would? Yeah, well, I'm sure you need, like, some sort of licenses. Yeah, and yeah you need some sort of licenses. like what? So, so. To sell food. Yeah. To make sure you're not getting people sick. Yeah, yeah. you're running, like, a healthy, like, safety, public safety. Yeah. Public health, yeah. And that's the thing that I actually had a, a conversation with somebody not too long ago. And, again, it's like, this is where I kind of have, like, the, uh, I wouldn't say arguments, right? But we talk about certain things like in the Latino culture, right? Like mm-hmm. we, we try to get ahead in life or we try to take these risks that other people won't, but yeah. then other people try to shame you and say, oh, but don't you need a permit for that? Or, oh, don't you need money for that? Or don't, mm-hmm. don't you need to have specific requirements to do it, you know? But to me, it's like, dude, I'm only like 25, mm-hmm. 26 years old and I'm just trying to like- You're 26, dude? Yeah, bro. Holy <laughs> crap, dude, you're young as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so so it, you're 28, what are you talking about, <laughs> two years old? I don't know. I don't know. I thought you were older for some reason, dude. I yeah. don't know. I mean, no doubt. Everyone thinks that. Like, I did. I don't know. I feel like because uh, maybe because I don't know. Maybe the whole starting a business thing and being so like, I don't know. Yeah, but I get I you. I think we're older though, man. Yeah, but again, it's like you, you know. So <laughs> I did. I did take some of those hits where like somebody was kind of like trying to point the finger at me. And health department was kind of like, you know, yeah. come well, down. So on did, me. Wait, did like someone from the health department actually talk to you about it? No, but we received an email about yeah. it. You well, know, how they get your email? Uh, just. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, FBI, dude. Yeah. FBI has FBI man. What did the email say? It just like, said, like, fucking stop it right now. Hey, you better <laughs> stop this right now. <laughs> you better stop this right now. <laughs> it's just like, it, it was kind of like. Picture of your dog. <laughs> you don't want to see this <laughs> dog like, again. We know, that, we know the address of, of where you used to sell. So, like, what? Yeah. Like, oh. like, you were selling, like, cocaine, yeah. dude. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> I know um, we used to know this. The sheriff, right? And he was like, "Oh, it's okay. I won't tell like Don Police Department." And he was cool about it. At but some it's but it's those yeah. people that want to support you. But the yeah. Yeah. they yeah. see the hustle, they see the grind, they see that you want to yeah. actually want to get something good out of this, mm-hmm. out, you know, to the yeah. community. Mm-hmm. And essentially, you know, that's that's what we've been trying to do. And uh, mm-hmm. you know, obviously, it took a couple years, you know, because we still got to work, we still got to make some sacrifices mm-hmm. to get capital, and mm-hmm. you know, so now that we actually had this opportunity to come in and say, "Hey, we can we we'll come in and open up a spot," and I'm like. You know, it's down. Let's, let's do this. Yeah. Let's do this as a, as a so. full-time thing. Mm-hmm. Number one spot to throw axes here at Big Zacks. We have cold alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. Probably for date nights, girls' night out, and guys' night out. We host birthday parties, gender reveals, corporate events, bachelorette parties. If you're interested in having your next celebration, think Big Zacks. We also have leagues where we create pro axe throwers. So check us out at 825 Chattanooga Avenue. So this restaurant, so we're opening, and I think we asked you earlier, you said like mid-August? Mid-August, yeah, August. mid-August. Next month? Next like two, month? Weeks. Yeah. Two, two, weeks. Three weeks. two, three weeks? Two, three weeks? Yeah. I don't know my months, dude. <laughs> I really don't. I feel like, the, you know, when you go through that part, like elementary school, I feel like I was just... Ask them, ask them what month comes after any month. Ask them. <laughs> I, I know, I'm, I'm better about <laughs> yes, it. Yes, yes. What comes after May, April? May. <laughs> okay. April. There you go. Hey, yo, what was that one? You said you were like clowning them for a minute, about a month you didn't know... Oh, uh, um, I don't know. I remember. I think it was like I think it's the Novembers and those that you get more confused. In. No, no. I feel in like I know November. What comes after February? <laughs> February, March, <laughs> and then April. You know, we just <laughs> talked about that. Yeah, and May, and then? June, July. Okay, then you're in there, man. You're yeah. welcome, and man. Hell August, yeah. then December. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I feel like um, hey, yo, Christmas is in two weeks. I don't even know that shit. <laughs> now I feel like I got a lot better with my fucking months, dude. I've been Hell working yeah. on it. Good job, yeah. man. Good job, Good man. Job. Honestly, people Just don't get now. Hours, man, you graduated. Graduated in SOB Studios. <laughs> Thank you. No, that's not the, that's not the right one. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it yeah, is. Yeah. Now only if I can learn how to tell time, I'll be in that. Bitch. <laughs> it's on the clock. <laughs> Yo, man, you, what trips me up is like everybody's like, yo, it's a, it's a quarter to. It's like, oh, quarter, what quarter, does quarter that to even what? Mean? Quarter to what? Like, what? quarter to like that? Or it's half past. Like, they're like, it's half past. Yeah, it's like, like dude, that, 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 that isn't, yeah. Or 10 till. Like, oh, yo, be out here 10 till. 
until yeah. what? Baby? Yeah, well, your shit's just confusing because you keep your phone on like twenty four hour clock though. Yeah, but that's just probably the most simple way to. No, tell time. we just add twelve. Dude. We just add twelve to whatever no time way. it is. <laughs> it's literally because I mean you get fully like get more confused with the PMs and the AMs. Yo, meet me at that's four. True. Four yeah. what? That is true. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> either zero four hundred or sixteen hundred. Meet me at seventeen oh six. Sounds crazy though. Well, yeah, man, because you know you're not used to it. I guess. Yeah. yeah. I remember one time we were at. Uh, have you ever been to uh, Cigar Time? I haven't. I haven't. It's have it. downtown, man. Pretty dope. We were there one time, and I remember. Uh, I think Bazo had your phone, and then you guys. And then we asked Bazo. I was like, Bazo, what time is it? Bazo was like, oh, it's twelve. And we're like, oh man, like damn, it's late. We didn't know how. This damn, that was fast. And a couple like minutes later, I'm on my phone. I'm like, bro, it's like ten o'clock, dude. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> He's like, I don't know what the fuck this phone is. <laughs> <laughs> make this shit make sense, bro. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> This is a Morris code over here, dog. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, I can relate to that, though. You can, can you can look at 24 7 time and be like, you know exactly what time it is. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. almost like a magic trick. Oh, I, mean, I feel like your job. <laughs> I feel like your shitty magic trick. I feel like, like your job probably takes that too, right? Um, not as much as you'd think. I feel like at the. At the I, I feel like I do it sometimes, but. Not really. Everybody's like kind of with the AMs and the PMs. Yeah, I don't know. In my job, they got that shit. It's yeah. random. Like, it's I work weird. for a cable company, and they got. Military so, so time. you are you good with the? So you could you know what like sixteen forty five is? Mm, yeah. What is it? Four. Yeah, it's four forty five. <laughs> what if it's like four thirty? I'm like, no, it's just it's just the first number that's different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what seventeen thirty eight is? That's Fetty Wap, baby. Fetty Wap, <laughs> Fetty Fetty Wap. That's just till I fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> but I tore my hamstring the other day, bro. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little. How was that meant to explain? Explain how that. Happened. I'm a little older, you know. I'm a little older, a little heavier, and wiser too. You want to be specific on the age? I am 28. I'm be 29 nice. this year. <laughs> You're so young, man. You're yeah. so young. Yeah. 30, dude. Yeah, yeah well, he's been through a lot, just physically. Just <laughs> no, I'm mean, like at least mentally, mentally, he's at least like 50. Yeah. So, <laughs> but I was um, doing some sprints out there on a uh, Dalton's football field. Yeah. On uh, one of the high school football fields, and like mid sprint, I heard just like a pop in my fucking left hamstring, and I just fell down immediately. You heard? Huh? You heard it? I, I heard it and I felt, yeah. And it was just... Wow. And I just remember just falling down. <laughs> just What's up, Nelly? What's up, Nelly? I don't know. what pop, dude. dude don't right. fucking make that's fun nice. of my arm. <laughs> that's good. That's good. So, um, but luckily my little brother was with me. Yeah. Because if not, I don't know how the fuck I would have gotten in the car. I was literally thinking, like, dude, fuck. You're going to have to airlift me, dude. I'm not going to be <laughs> able to get off of here. <laughs> just go. Just leave me. Leave me here. Dude, save yourself. <laughs> dog. The, the bombs are about to go off. We just fucking. Dude, just imagine, dude. Like, you'd have to crawl, like, just pull yourself up, like, all upper body. It hurt, man. Yeah, I know you're in the military, but, like, yeah. it didn't trigger no PTSD or anything, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> just, I was sitting there. I'm like, what's next, dude? What's next? <laughs> He's like, dude, you're fucking hurt. I'm like, dude, don't take me out the game. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me finish the season out. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Just We're just working work out. out dude. That's hilarious. You're fucking delusional. It's just you and me in this field, dog. So, um, <laughs> one of us got to leave. <laughs> Alive, dude. Just fucking kill me. So, but whatever. Went to the doctor. And I work at a doctor's office, but they don't accept my insurance there. So I had to go to another doctor's office. How fucking fucked dude, is that, dude? Some bullshit? That's dude. I'm like, bro, y'all know me, dog. It's a scam. <laughs> Like, I fucking know me here, dude. I have several family members in like the healthcare industry, yeah. you know, doing or doing like you know whatever MRIs and stuff. And uh, I was like, dude, that's some bullshit. They don't offer you like some kind of support because you work yeah. there, and it's like you still have to get it aside and still have to pay for it. it People in there getting X-rays. The person giving that shit got a broken arm broken themselves. Arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was limping everywhere, like bringing patients back. They're like, oh my god, what's wrong? No, I just hurt my leg. She's like, oh, I thought you were retarded. <laughs> Like, Sorry, she didn't say that. <laughs> but um, but yeah, then I went. And I got um, they checked it out, and uh, they gave me you know some a muscle relaxer. So if anybody's looking for muscle relaxer pills <laughs> and, <laughs> and painkillers, but it's like it's like uh, child vitamins. Yeah, I mean they're not very well. I showed Boz. I asked Boz, I'm like, yo, what are these worth out in the street? He's like, bro, those are like vitamins, dude. Yeah. Don't fucking come back unless you have Xanaxes. <laughs> Boz is our street pharmacist uh, yeah. person. Street he, know, pharmacist. He, knows the, he knows the prices out there. Oh, but like he only reads off of Twitter. Like he doesn't know him anything personally. Yeah. Himself, yeah. At all. Don't approach him. <laughs> <laughs> he, knows a, he knows the stock market is what we're saying. He, he, just, uh, he, just, he just looks up. He looks up all the information we ask him to. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, that's our generation now, bro. Everybody's uh, investing in like you know this and drugs. Yeah, this drugs? fake drugs money. or the, the all the like the like Bitcoin. Bitcoin and- bro, I heard like you know with this whole recession, like a lot of those shares are going down, and I just see nonstop videos about yeah. which I just, I don't really understand it still. I guess and the NFT like the NFT thing crashed supposedly, man. People had like, millions of dollars in NFTs and then, it's like, just these crazy investments, bro. You know. Yeah. Just, NFTs you, you is literally just a picture, dude. Who me? No. Oh. I've actually have a picture. I have some investments. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. What's, what do you invest what's, in? What's that, dude? I just I usually just try to go with something uh, that you you know or, or that we like or that you like. That's yeah. usually how I approach my investments. What our do you mean our you most like? recent one was Amazon. We love Amazon. <laughs> yeah, like, and Amazon, bro, it's all yeah. things going anywhere. So. Yeah, you think about these companies that are like, all right, which ones are going to take over and which is going to buy out the little dogs, you know? Mm-hmm. That's, that's and I, I feel like it. definitely Amazon because, mm-hmm. bro, people getting the shit, people are getting lazier, lazier every fucking day. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. definitely yeah. deliveries and stuff, dude. All right. That's never going to fucking yeah. go out. And then yeah. recently, too, what I've been investing is in, uh, you know, people say invest in yourself. I've actually been actually legit investing in myself. I even got myself like a, a life insurance agent. Mm-hmm. Oh and yeah, and we've been investing in like our Be future. Be careful, dude, because that's you know, somebody will kill you off. That <laughs> right? shit. No, but it's like things that I like that I'm, I love that I'm, I'm getting to enjoy to learn as far as like a business owner goes. Because you know some of these things like you want to ask, but who do you ask, right? Yeah. That is true. Because that's that's the position that I've been in for the longest time. It's like I constantly look for a mentor, constantly look for mm-hmm. somebody who's been in the industry long enough, yeah. or this and that and the other but yeah man right now I think the best thing we've done is uh, we know we got a life policy and we, we're thinking about long term and future and uh, that is good that and, is good. and, and the business paying back right we're, we're going to reinvest that money back because we have kids we have two daughters oh yeah. Yeah. shout out nice, them shout nice. out them I was, I was gonna so it's like we want to we want to set them up for success right you want to define success whatever uh, but you know at least as long as for me you know growing up uh, me and Adonis talked about like the deaths we actually encountered mm-hmm. in our families um so yeah we look i look back as like a mexican culture like we don't believe in um, life insurance or policies or having kind of like health care around right. us because any like, plan really yeah, yeah any plan right because throw then, that money in the mattress at the, end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day someone's stuck with that burden right and it's like we're paying out of pocket for it or somebody's paying out of pocket for it but to me it's like yeah like if anything happens like yeah i may be young but who knows you yeah. know something can happen and at least that way i know that my kids are secured with some kind of you know, capital where they can right. survive off of, because that's I mean that's that's things that like even as a dad you, you got to think about you know, like if I'm I'm if, I'm if I'm not here one day who's gonna take care of my kids yeah or if, if we're both gone like who takes care of our kids yeah and that's, that's that's I know when um whenever my father passed like it was a lot of he left a lot of things that are like kind of he left the rentals and everything that's kind of like up in the air Keep you know air, yeah. never planned and never like planned anything and you know so it's kind of like been real mess situation for like my younger brother like to fix all of that to square that away yeah dude and it's it's stressful because i was there you know like yeah. when, when my dad passed away i was like you know i'm the oldest one and in, in, uh, out of three boys um it was just my mom again like the mom that comes comes from mexico and has mm-hmm. dude my dad like babied the shit out of my mom like she didn't know how to pay <laughs> bills she didn't know how right. to do any of these things so it was like all up to me you know at yeah. the same time i'm like trying to work trying to start a business and take care of everybody so to me, it's like this was the best thing that I, I could do for my family, at least, you know. Yeah. So when um, are you okay talking about your dad? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. What, what, so when, so actually, I remember when we, when we uploaded for the second award show, like the final clip or whatever, and I wasn't following your personal page at the time, but it was like when I talked about my, my father and his passing, you messaged me on Instagram. But yeah, since I wasn't following you, and it was like back in January, it went into like my general and you know, I never look at it. And you sent me like this, you know, paragraph that you went through like a similar situation. And I remember seeing it like late and I'm like, what? I'm like, dude, I feel like a fucking dick. Nah, dude. Dude, nah. I, and I just like messing around in my, you know, general. Because mainly it's just like, oh, do you need a sugar mama? Do you need a sugar mama? Do you need a sugar mama? <laughs> Then I just see one. I'm like, hey man, that was like really. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? This yeah, is yeah. not no, a robot. Yeah. Like, you know, hor- horny mills like four oh, miles yeah, down dude. the road from you. But how many? How many of those sugar mamas have you passed out? What if one of them were real, dude? I don't know. I messaged every single one of them. <laughs> not one of them have gave me money. Not one of them. One of they asked for money. So yeah, just send me a hundred deposit, then I'll send you fifteen thousand. <laughs> what kind of sugar mama is this? That makes sense. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But so then, but then we saw that, and then um. So, so yeah, 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 I was sorry, but then, you know, eventually, uh, I ended up just seeing you out, and then we talked about it more, and then that's actually what ended up coming, um, yeah, so booking yeah, you here. Yeah, but, yeah, so, that actually happened in 2020, right? Uh, we go back as far as, like, starting Beer Bros and stuff. So, yeah, like, I, I'm kind of uh, grateful as well that my dad got to taste some of that, and he saw what I was trying to start, right? Mm. And, uh... But I mean, we're talking about a, a 47 year old man that you know loved to be 47 out, out, year old. That's out, so young. Outdoors wow. and like maybe the only thing he had 
wrong with him was like his his uh, high blood pressure. But then I always joke about like it was probably because of us, like you know, <laughs> me and my, my brothers and shit. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So COVID was going on, and uh, I mean, I was I was that that skeptical guy where I was like, dude, this shit doesn't exist. Like it's just like a cold, and to a sense, right? Mm-hmm. Right. And then you just kept seeing it on the news and the news and. You know, during this time, uh, my grandpa was in his final stages of, like, um, Alzheimer's and dementia and stuff. So mm-hmm. we, we were – the family was pretty close at that point, and the funeral happened, and, you know, everybody gets sick. Um, so we're all, like, quarantining and stuff. And then during that time, you know, my dad had gone back to work, and uh, I remember uh, he was talking about something about how he, he couldn't breathe. And he had a hard time breathing, and uh, he went home. And this, this was rare for my dad, and he, he, he was always that stubborn Mexican. I mm-hmm. was like, I'm not going to go to the doctor. I'm not going to mm-hmm. go to the hospital. But, dude, this man called 911 on himself. <laughs> wow. Jumped on a jumped on an ambulance and went to the hospital. Yeah, well, he didn't even drive himself. So no, he was, dude. So it was wow. that bad, you know? Yeah. And then uh, I didn't know about this till the morning, and I guess they didn't want to freak me out or whatever because, you know, uh, who would want to get that call, right? Yeah. But, yeah, I ended up calling him saying, hey, you all right? And uh, you can just tell he was having a hard time breathing and stuff. And, uh, yeah, he was at Hamilton Medical Center for about a week and a half or so, almost two weeks. And he eventually went on the vent, you know, went on the vent. And for as far as I was always asking questions was, like, when he were put on the vent, it was game over. Like, yeah. there was, like, a slight slim chance that you were coming out of that. And I was like, "Fuck! Like, what? What am I? What do I do?" Or you feel so vulnerable, like, like you, there's nothing you can do, you know. Yeah. But you just try to trust on, you know, uh, the doctors, the nurses, God, if you believe in that, you know. But, um, so I was constantly calling the nurse, and I'll, I'll never forget his name. You know, shout out to uh, Chris. 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 Shout out, Chris. Dude, Chris was on it, and I was on it because we were trying to find solutions to get my dad out, out of this, out of this, you know, situation. And uh, during this, uh, my grandma passed away, you know? So, like, two weeks later wow. after my grandpa passed away, you know, she passed away. And I really don't know to this day what, what she passed away from, honestly. And uh, uh, so I was, like, still stuck with my dad and stuff. And uh, he was eligible for, like, the uh, ECMO treatment. And the ECMO was, like, something that I learned uh, along. Um, essentially, this therapy is used for, like, uh, newborns. Um, it, it acts like as a heart and a lung for the baby because, you know, sometimes when babies are born, they don't know how to do those things on their own. But they were doing this on COVID patients. And uh, the closest bed we found was in Charleston, South Carolina, which was like six hours out. Mm-hmm. And I told Chris, I'm like, dude, do what you got to do. Like, you know, if you got to airlift him, you got to ground him, I'm going to just let's try to save this dude's life, you know. Right. And then. Uh, they tried airlifting him, and uh, his levels were dropping. Like his oxygen levels were dropping uh, dramatically. So th- they avoided that one, did the ground transport, went over there. And the only thing I remember that stuck to me the most that was annoying as hell was you would always ask, like, you know, how is he? How is he? And they're like, oh, he's just, he's just really sick. Yeah. And you're like, well, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> like, he's really yeah. sick. Like, explain to me, like, what's going on? Yeah. And, um, yeah, he was placed on ECMO. His body took the machine because, again, it could reject the body. You know, mm-hmm. it could have ended there. And he was over there, too, for, like, about another week or so. So it was, like, a whole month of him being just hospitalized, being uh, in an induced coma and constantly watching his levels. And, I mean, I was asking, like, the dumbest questions, but it was questions that like you were, like, you know, is he eating? Is he going to the bathroom? You know, because you're, like, you're in bed, you know, mm-hmm. all this time. It's like, how do, you, how, how do they do these things? And, uh... I think it was the second or third time we drove down to uh, Charleston. Uh, it was kind of like a, a urgent meeting, right? And I, I look back and it's kind of to a sense like I don't know if they pretty much let him die or I don't I don't really don't know what happened. But we saw the X-rays. The X-rays were like really completely white and like they just look like and they're like he's he's not gonna make it. Mm-hmm. And even long term, like he was gonna be like a potato, you know. Mm-hmm. And. Knowing my dad, I was like, dude, he would fucking hate being on the couch all day, you know, because he was the type of guy that was like, I want to go do this, I want right. to do that. And, um, yeah, when he passed away, I I essentially couldn't be there just because, like, I didn't want to remember him no, in that state. That, yeah. You know, just remember him with the good memories. Um, but, yeah, but, you know, shout out to my and my aunts, his sisters. They, they were there beside his bedside. And, uh, yeah, you, you get stuck in this sense where you're like, you're the oldest, you're responsible, how do you take care of everybody? And uh, I did go through some, like, mental stuff, uh, still going through it, but uh, it's something that you, to me, it's like, when I talk about it, uh, since it's, it is grieving, but it's like, I accepted it, I'm yeah. fine with it, um, 
Like, I don't, I don't know how you're, how you're coping with it, but for me, it's like, I just talk about it. Don't feel bad for me. Don't do, I'm, I'm just talking about it just to make me feel good, and then yeah. I'm, I'm done. Yeah, well, I'll say that the loss of, um, you know, a family member, <laughs> you don't necessarily get over it. It's not a bad day. It's not a breakup. It's something you live with every day. One day might be good. You might hear a song. You might see something. You might smell something. It might be your birthday. You know, you'd be like, oh, fuck, you know, I can't go to my dad's house i can't grill it's a beautiful day to grill stuff like yeah, that yeah yeah so it comes and goes you know i mean you know some days are better than others right but it's hard man it's hard and, I, and, and but one thing i did take from that was like you know he was young so to me it's like that's where the business came out as well because i was like man i only only have one life right we only have one life uh, we might as well risk it all because i don't know how long i'm gonna be here you know because we try to plan, right, to live to be a hundred years old or whatever. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm aiming like seventy. <laughs> I, I think I think I'll probably hit like fifty. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, you know, and it's like you, you start thinking about those things. I was like, no, I'll be like one hundred and twenty-six. <laughs> That's just not. Well, I don't know. I've seen some some like good looking like I know people that have been like a hundred. My like, diet like, and my form and of and exercise and the way I live my life easily one hundred twenty-six. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. That's a crazy thing. Like, um, I like the I guess like people who live like. To 100, I think it was. I think like it was a video of like a like a, a black lady, and uh, I think she she was a uh, hundred. How people live longer? Like hundred, like in the teens, hundred teens, something like that. And then she was like, "Yeah, you know, I didn't really do anything." She's like, "It just ended up happening." And then like there was also like uh, some like veterans that like fought in the war and stuff. Like I fucking smoke fucking tobacco every fucking day for the rest of my life, and I'm still fucking here. Like yeah, yeah. Yo, like, it's just crazy. Like, yeah, it's just, you can't really predict, you know, how old you're going to get to live, whether you have a bad, you know, habit or a good habit. Yeah, you and they have the opposite. People like that, you know, vegetarians or vegans all their life, da da da, and then they get hit by a bus. And yeah, because like, like, so during COVID, <laughs> what? Just, so during buses bus. are killing vegetarians? <laughs> <laughs> Not just vegetarians, but they can kill anybody, though. Oh, I thought, I thought you were just saying yeah. there was like a fucking vegetarian murderer. <laughs> yeah, yeah so like, so like when my dad passed away, you know, I was oh, like, Oh, the Vegetarian Express, like, you haven't heard of it? There's a new horror movie coming out. <laughs> I was like, dude, there's people out here who like smoke every day and like yeah, they're like, don't fine take care of themselves and they're fine, all, yeah. you know. I was like, this this shit don't make sense, you know. <laughs> that also looks lost. He comes back in and yeah, this people that smoke all their life, and I was like, yo, what? <laughs> He's talking about me. <laughs> talking about me? I stepped out for two seconds and they're out here talking about me. Well, that's like the thing, like with COVID too. Like there's uh there's plenty of people who got COVID that like you would think that they wouldn't make it out of it. Like, cause it's just like health conditions and stuff like that. Right. And like, they still make it out of it, but then like the healthier ones and they're like, the ones to go. suffering yeah. the most. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Like I saw that firsthand. I'm just like, damn, dude, that's, I got that a, sucks. I had a question about the ventilator you were talking about. And <laughs> I, I guess you can probably answer this too. But, um, I, I, that's one thing like, cause they were saying like, oh, once you get in the ventilator, you're basically done. Right. So what happened if they didn't put them in the ventilator? Was the chances die better sooner. or die sooner? Die sooner. Yeah, die sooner. yeah I would say. Because yeah. they, yeah. their body isn't breathing. So yeah. the ventilator is like a machine to help them breathe. And the reason it's hard for that because it's – your body gets used to not breathing for itself. So if something's breathing for you, your body's like, oh, why am I going to exert myself if this machine's doing it for so me? So that's what I'm saying. Isn't it better if you're not on the ventilator? Because I did – that. if you're going to die anyways, why not die at least with your body trying to fight? Because if your body itself. gets over that by itself, then you can – I think uh, a comfort thing. You know, like I feel like being on the bed is probably like just you could. It's a more comfort, like comfort state that you could do. Because yeah. by yourself, you you're literally just gonna be in pain. You're literally gonna be you're in pretty pain. much yeah. just drowning. Just, just yeah, you're just pretty drowning. Much drowning. Yeah. Damn. So, but yeah, that's why it's very hard. And I mean, I don't know why COVID just fucked. I remember when my my father was admitted, like, uh, and I knew because I worked at a step down ICU, and I saw it. I saw these like you know, el not elderly, just older older men or women. Go in there, and they're at the first, they're there, they're just like on oxygen, like through their nose, like a nasal cannula. But they're up walking, eating, you know, talking. Yeah. But I saw it, like, by whatever, my next shift next week, I, they're just, like, you know, getting more lethargic, not eating, just look tired. And I, I just see it, I see it going downhill. You saw the, the health decline. Yeah, so week to week. So whenever my, my father was admitted, I knew. Like, my, when my father was admitted, I cried, like, every day. Because I knew, I, as soon as he was admitted, I knew what was going to happen. I knew it, you know. And it was kind of it was kind of a hard thing to explain to. I remember like telling my brothers like we had a group chat. I'm like, hey, you know, dad's in the hospital. If, like, you feel like you need to tell him anything, bro. Like, call him. And you know, a lot of my brothers were like, they didn't think of it. They didn't think it like that. You know, right, right. Well, are, are you are you the oldest in your? No, group? I'm the I'm the third. You're the third. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, I'm two older brothers and then whatever. And what's really was was sad. Man, it was my, my oldest brother. 
him and my father never got like you know they weren't eye to eye always you know especially like you know as as, as like maybe throughout like high school and stuff like that yeah yeah, yeah. but so there's a lot of like things that you know I don't know we had a lot of guilt like a lot of things man should have reached out should have like tried to fix things or whatever dude and, like, and, just talk and, more. and that's the worst shit that you can do it's like that's that's why like even now heavily you know I've been on text messages or or uh, phone calls bro I'm heavy on that because. You might not know tomorrow. You might not know okay. tomorrow. You might not be here. You know, because yeah, if, if you would have told me the last time I talked to my dad, I was gonna be the last time I ever fucking talked to him. I'd be like, that's insane. Because that's it. That's that's what I have is that last, whatever. I just called him on the phone. Yeah, and that's one thing I, that I don't want to live with personally is like regret. Like oh, right. you know, like I, I don't want to <clears> regret not talking to this person, saying something to this person, or even doing something in life. You know, like nope. again, this business. You know, that's why I'm like, you know, I want to risk it all because I'm only young once, and this may be. My one time that I can do it. You You're know? the oldest and youngest you'll ever be right now. Yeah. Are you an artist or a musician interested in perfecting your sound, wanting to take it to the next level? Here at Fatboy Studios, we have the latest and greatest in recording technology for any mixing, and mastering, and production. We have top of the line engineers and producers to help you hone your craft. So check us out here at Fat Boy Studios at 3525 Chattanooga Road. All right, so let's take a hard left turn, man. Hard left. <laughs> um, so you got the spot, right? The yeah. new spot is. Where uh, is it? Uh, it's going to be located in uh, 1806 South Dixie Highway in Boom. Dalton, Georgia. Very exclusive here. We have uh, not. Uh, so, yeah, we have <laughs> not disclosed that information to nobody. It's a, it's a 41 for the people for <laughs> local. Yeah, but what the fuck it's, is South Dixie it's Highway? Right before Calicos. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's nice. After, after the Calicos. game. After the game. And if you think it's too far, you're about six minutes from away from downtown. downtown. Yeah. That's actually like right by my house, actually, man. Really? Yeah. yeah. David Drive. Well. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not bleeping that out. That's staying. Know, hey, we're, That's we're, staying having a, we're having a party there. Whenever you hear this. <laughs> but um, all right, so why why this? So you're doing it at your house, and then you get the uh, why this location? Uh, just your opportunity arose. Opportunity mm. arose. Uh, I actually have a good buddy of mine. Uh, he had known about this opportunity. Again, he was like, you know, I could have done it for myself, but he's like, I don't know shit about restaurants or anything like that. He's like, and I knew you were looking for a location, so. Here we are. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I'm not very, like, you know, into the local restaurant scene or what's going on. But George, I remember he told us, there's been, like, a couple places there before and it hasn't really gone too well. So, mm-hmm. like, why did you think, like, okay, this is going to work for me? Uh, you Again, I, I, we were talking about earlier with the, uh, about being humble and stuff. You know, I, I've really been humble about this experience because, again, like, I was like, man, if people followed me to my house... Yeah. Like, and well, we live very far away. Yeah, we live far, man. We live yeah. like like going towards like the dump. The dump. On, on, oh like, no, I'm okay. On, on uh, Dixie Highway. No, Dixie Highway. Oh, and, like, oh like Rosaca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, going All towards Rosaca. Don't call Rosaca a dump, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, you're talking about the landfill. The landfill that's over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, by, but by, it uh, also is a dump. Though. By the carbon exit <laughs> yeah, over there. Yeah, um, exit, but yeah. it's like so people following me here is like. They're gonna. I think they're gonna follow me wherever. wherever where we're gonna go. And b- yeah. prior to that, you know, from my back house, we were doing pop ups. Right, we were having these pop ups during 2020 and 2021. So like, where we're at? And pop ups, just you just set up somewhere. Yeah. So I know yeah. uh, 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 Block 79 was doing uh, pop ups, mm-hmm. and uh, so we were, you know, putting our name out there. And we were going out there, and we were. Mm-hmm. So same thing. You know, we had the same crowd, same energy. And I was like, dude, this is fucking crazy. Yeah. Like. To a sense, like to me, that's like this is awesome, you know. Yeah. Like, no. I remember people like uh, some people would invite us to pop ups, and I'm like, what the fuck would we do though? Like, <laughs> yeah. we're we're a pocket. What are we gonna do? We don't care. We're not selling. I just, interview, 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 interview. Interview. You can promote oh, your merch. Your merch. Your merch. merch. Do small Visit, interviews. Do business cards. Do stand up. Let Kelvin up. sing a little bit. Oh, yeah. Kelvin can sing. Oh. We whore Kelvin out for singing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm talking right about. <laughs> I'm talking about whore that boy out. <laughs> Uh, Kevin got a new uh, new album coming on the way. Yeah. What's it called so, again? So, so. Uh, we don't have a name. On, we don't have a name for it yet. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's twenty seven yeah. tracks. Twenty seven oh. tracks. <laughs> They're wow. all a minute long. So <laughs> it's twenty seven minutes long altogether. I mean, it's That's probably funny. not twenty seven, but he has to make it twenty seven now. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good bit of tracks though. It's, it should be should be good. Little reggaeton, little you know merengue, you know, little bachata maybe, you know, little yeah, yeah, surprises, yeah. you know. Surprise. <laughs> but uh, yo, speaking, ah. speaking about like the carbon though exit, there's uh there's another Mexican restaurant out there, uh, El Sueño. 
Yes. Oh, yes. yeah. That was, um, and, uh, Jasmine was talking about it, right? Yes, she does work for That should be putting you to sleep, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, you should be dreaming when you're there, you know? <laughs> But uh But not like, because I also thought, too, like, you know, that, that area, like, there's not, like, it's not open, like it's not like really well like traveled and stuff like that. But right. I feel like they they get a lot of hype though, because yeah, like do, yeah. my parents, my parents are heavy on it. They go there like every weekend. We well, got to think too, like you know. So if you live out there, you look at your options. Like what's out here, right? Mm-hmm. What's local? What's True. franchise? So um, again, you, you so for us that's the same thing. You know, we're looking at demographics in your area where you're at. And we're surrounded by a bunch of like uh, manufacturers, you know, yeah. a bunch of carpet manufacturers. They'll be going to lunch break. Yeah, bro. So it's like, nah. you know, that's when you try tapping in mm-hmm. into those uh, plantas and you're like, hey, you know, I have a restaurant. If you're if you're not craving McDonald's, I got a Mexican spot right down the road from you, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, like I think uh, on that strip, <clears throat> the only like other like Hispanic spots, the. Was that South Mexico now? The one. Uh, on Connector Three, that's like a they yeah, changed. Oh, it, like it used to be Lalo's? it used to be an Antonio's yeah, restaurant. Something like now Tony's. it's I don't know what it's yeah. called. It's but called yeah, Lalo's, yeah. Because yeah. I feel like a lot of people go there for lunch. Because like whenever uh, the company I work for for the cable, like that's literally the only spot they go. They go to, to yeah. And like they literally like they only get like the what is a pollo loco? It's just like chicken and rice. Yeah, and yeah. that's literally yeah. what they get all the time. But other than that, I mean, they got what Bob's Burgers and then. Kinney's or is it Kelly's 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 yeah dude and, and so here's the crazy stuff too right so I actually uh, we, we got with a business consultant and we were talking about you know restaurant businesses down that down that area you know these are uh, restaurants that have been here for a long time mm-hmm. like Puerto Vallarta yeah Kelly's dude I was looking at Kelly's re- uh, restaurants um Schedule. They only work like three days, and I was like, "Dude, that's what? crazy." And it's like and, lunch hours, and they're, yeah. yeah, they're only open for like maybe like six hours a day. Yeah. So that's things that like I started thinking of, like, how is that possible? Like, how is it? You know, that's a dream right there, bro. Yeah, that is a dream. Because you, you even what like of, what kind of food they sell? There's a, like a I don't weird, even know. Dude. It's like a American. You ever mm-hmm. been to Gill's Grill? Because whites support whites, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. Hey, but Hispanics gotta support Hispanics. Yeah, 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 right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. Like, it's like meatloaf type beats. Yeah. Oh, meatloaf? Hell, that's, that's just beef with ketchup on it. Huh? <laughs> that's just Arby's. That's all it said is fucking Arby's. Arby's. This guy started with the meatloaf. Arby's, man. we got the meats. <laughs> yeah, you got meatloaf. I remember the yeah. first time you said that it was hilarious. I remember it was at Arby's. Like, yo, I might get some food on the way there. You want some? He's like, what you getting? I'm getting Arby's. He's like, no, I don't want fucking meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? That's all they sell. Y'all. <laughs> hey, but now you're going to have another option. You're going to have yeah. Video Bros as your yeah. option to go yeah. eat, man. This is your option, yeah, man. You know? So, Bidia Bros. So we found this location. Mm-hmm. We're said we're thinking mid August. Uh, what are we serving there? Any alcohol or just food? So we are gonna uh, shoot to apply for our, our beer and wine uh, okay. license. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely wanting to bring like a, a modernized um, space, right? Because to me, it's like I was born here, but you know my culture and roots are are Mexican, mm-hmm. and uh, you know I, I I I'm really appreciating now the Mexican culture. By that I mean like. I grew up listening to a bunch of Mexican songs. My mom cleaning. And I'm like, dude, mm. turn that shit off. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Now, some songs, you just, you put them on Pine Soul immediately. Yeah, just yeah right. Yeah. And now I'm like, dude, this shit hits. Like, yeah. this, is, this is what I'm I fuck like, with yeah. now. You Give know? me the goddamn mop. I'm going to clean it. <laughs> yeah. So, like, so I'm stuck between that, right? Like, mm. trying to be American and trying to be Mexican, right? So, to me, it's like, why can I do both? Or why can I kind of try to merge ideas where everybody can kind of relate, right? Right. So with the space, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing with the whole modernized um, Mexican-American thing. So I'll be serving uh, birria, you know, with a bunch of specialty uh, plates, which is like quesadilla, mm-hmm. doing uh, the tacos, doing the... Uh, You're doing ramen? The ramen yes, doing the ramen. ramen. Oh, okay. I had that. I had that. Yeah. Uh, birria ramen? Yeah. I had that the other day. Um, yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah, and it's like a like, to me. It's like that's cool. Like you, we're we're mixing cultures together. You yeah. Know? yeah. So what what else you said? You said birria tacos, ramen, quesadillas, burritos. Uh, burrito. So like, are you gonna like have like more than just birria? Like you gonna do like? Yeah. Other? So I'm actually gonna bring in a, a wings and tenders because I'm a big wings and tenders guy. Them chicken fingers from yeah. the kids, <laughs> man. <laughs> right. <laughs> For the whites, get the whites on board, man. <laughs> well, to me, it's like you can't you can't go wrong with chicken. chicken you know. Yeah. Which uh, we talked uh, we talked a little bit about like the hot ones and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You're saying you're trying to work on that. Yeah, stuff exactly. Too? Oh. Oh, do like the little challenge, like yeah. you know, like oh, five. He finishes five tacos. Oh, five that's minutes the thing. With, free. with our hot sauce, yeah, with, with the, the hottest hot sauce. hot sauce. We have about four or five exclusive. I don't think. Hot sauces. I don't think there is like any kind of like food challenge, challenge in like in Dalton. But there there's like a, a there's like a thing you gotta sign before you do this shit, right? So yeah, there's a waiver. Yeah, there's a waiver. Yeah, 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 because yeah. I think there used to. Uh, it was something downtown. I can't. I can't remember. I think CC's had one not too long ago. 
No. Yeah, but I wasn't here though. CC's like, yo. CC's like somewhere else. <laughs> like Bucking. Else. I think it was Bucking Burrito, or it might have been something that was kind of like Bucking Burrito downtown, like a while back. Yeah. And uh, they had this big ass like burrito because I, I remember I, I took a picture of it uh, on Instagram, but it was like fuck when I graduated like high school, like 2012, mm. 2013. Yeah. Uh, I gotta look for it. Maybe I can find it. But uh, it was like a three foot talk, like a burrito, and like Jeez. you had to eat it within like 30 minutes. Three how foot? Bro? How, how much was it? Had uh, been a lot. Nah, dude, it was like maybe like twenty five. Three bucks. foot is like the size of all these three letters together, bro. Yeah, it was big. That's wild. That's it might big. have been two foot. I don't and know, if it's man, and bro. if it's full with like yeah. twenty five bucks, we got to meet with her using. I feel like it's kind of cheap for this. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it was sketchy. also it was also back in the day, man. As like Burger King's, like you get forty nuggets for three dollars. Yeah, <laughs> right? like, they're these are not. This is not chicken, sir. <laughs> <It's> not chicken. <laughs> Yo, man, we just found a homeless person dead back here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we grinded I, them up. Actually, you open the box. Only three of them are real. The rest is like a hologram, dog. For real. It's just, it's just part of the box. They just copied and pasted in their manufacturer. <laughs> yeah. bro. Speaking of Burger Burger King, I think their, their breakfast is underrated. They got a good breakfast, though. They really All the burritos, do. man. They burritos. Really good coffee. They have good coffee, too. Yeah, but I was going back to uh, the sauces, right? We're doing school. Uh, so I actually was inspired, too, by another uh, company that started during COVID. And this one blows my mind. Uh, they're called Scoville Chicken. They're in Atlanta. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they got like six locations right now, bro. And I'm like, dude, it's only been two years. And their concept Damn. is easy, right? So their concept for them, it's like, it's self serve. It's a kiosk. You order, and it's just a it's just a chicken sandwich. But what separates them and makes them unique? Because one thing that me and my business consultant have been talking about too is about being unique, right? Right. And for them, it's like they have a Scoville chart. They go from like the wimpiest to the hottest. That's what I mentioned to, to you earlier about the salsas. You know, so it's kind of like uh, Hattie B's in Nashville. I don't think I've had that one. No, but- Hattie B's is a stripper dog. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. No, 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 it's a chicken. It's a chicken spot. Is it chicken spot? Oh, yeah. yeah, and a stripper. <laughs> it's just really hot chicken. Not really. non-related. It's like no, natural, related. Not natural hot chicken. But that chicken, you know, you could just get it as as hot as you want. And I'm like, that's cool to give your client the option yeah, to the, how hot do you want? You know, there's there's like no like spicy receptors in the tongue. It's just pain. It is pain. Yeah, just, it's just pain, pain receptors. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Right, people torture themselves eating the hottest thing they can get. <laughs> no, but I feel like like Hispanic people do that a lot. Cause I do it. Like me personally, I yeah. love I love spicy shit. Will you test yourself though? When, yeah. so, when someone's like, "Hey, that shit's hot," you're gonna be like, oh, "Yeah, no. yeah, like taking I mean, a scoop of that shit." Speaking of, is, is what, that a form of self harm? Probably. <laughs> that, you're definitely a little a little a little sadistic, dude. But yeah. it, like, I feel like I can't. Say this? I can't have like I I can't enjoy my food without having like say spicy. It, you say can't it, resist it, right? Yeah. <laughs> not like it always like whatever, whatever it's like a jalapeno hot sauce, whatever it is. If like, I'm not I'll, sweating, I'll I'm not even really. Eating. It, yeah. I, I literally do. Like anytime I eat, I'll be like, though? why do you want to put yourself through that? Because I'm a I bitch. I'll be honest. I'm a bitch <laughs> when it comes to hot shit. Yeah. Don't even. I don't, don't even, even look at it, dude. What's that? I think Dominicans, right? Like the island people, man. Y'all don't really like do a lot of spices, right? Yeah. Because I don't put a reek in. I think it's the same. By the way, what's Puerto Rico, their food's garbage. Whoa, come on. Nah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Whoa, I didn't mean that. Whoa, <laughs> sorry, dude. sorry. It's hey. not your favorable sorry. one. Yeah. No, nah, I doesn't mean. I didn't mean. I just. No, you know what? Their food wasn't that good. <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't what did you? Good. What did you have? Yeah, what did you? Just eat? like normal shit. <laughs> What's normal? What's normal? Right. Like, what, yeah, what is normal? Right now, shit? Right now, like chicken right tenders. Right now, behind you these screens, right, you started you a, a war. Game, like, you went to fucking McDonald's over there. Bro, you started a war right now <laughs> in, in the food world. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because Puerto Rican food is like known as like great food yeah. in most places. Um, I'm sorry, but um, no, I just I'm really hungover right now, dude. My there torn hamstring. I'm on fucking muscle relaxers and pain. Killers. I think I have to apologize to put people. Put I do. I, I I formally, I formally and truly, I apologize. No, the food was. I mean, it was, it was okay, but I just feel like. What did you have, man? What did it you was have? in your platter. Um, yeah. yeah, it was in my platter. I had a. I got a Cuban sandwich. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Puerto Rico, man. It's the normal stuff. And they like went to like one restaurant, just got like you know like just normal. I don't know like chicken and whatever. I got a quesadilla. Yeah. Like the best thing that I had there was a <laughs> ham got, sandwich. You got Cuban food and Mexican food. I didn't say Mexican. I said put, like chicken. Okay, chicken. Quesadilla is quesadilla. Mexican. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you said whatever. Said. Anyways, <laughs> but I don't know. Do, what, what, do you know a Puerto Rican dish? Yeah, man. You got mofongo. You got all kinds of stuff, dog. You got uh, tripeta. I, you got all kinds of shit. I didn't hear about any of that stuff. Because like, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go with authentic Caribbean people, man. Yo, yeah, one thing. One thing I want to speak about. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Oh, what? respectfully. Dude, that's a joke. You can't say No, you said respectfully. It's okay. <laughs> no, but what I noticed is like, uh, like Mexico is like the only like Latin uh, country that eats tortillas or like a majority of their food is uh, tortillas. Around it's like tortillas. Masa. Yeah. Because uh, we went to a Colombian spot uh, in Atlanta and like it was a platter full of meats. Like it was delicious. No like, tortillas. I, I enjoyed it. And like they had like rice and beans 
and then like a an arepa, and that was it. And I was like, bro, this would fucking smack with some tortillas. But then I'm like, fuck. They don't got tortillas on the menu. Yeah. You know? Wait, where was this? Sorry, uh, in Atlanta. It was like a Colombian spot. You see, I'm the I'm the opposite. Like I'll go here somewhere and I got like fajitas or whatever, and then um, I'll be like, no tortillas, and they look at me like I'm crazy. Like, like what? what? Yeah, yeah. like the no fuck corn, fuck is, no flour. The yeah. fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Man? <laughs> I, mean, I just want the rice, the meat, and the little bit of salad, and that's it. Let's get it. He yeah. said, he said, I'm an Allen boy. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, man. Those guys are making money. <laughs> oh no, they're no, they're broke now. Yeah, they're broke. Right? Yeah, they're, they're like broke they're like now. broke but richer than us. They're doing yeah, like you know? they're doing like cameos yeah, yeah, yeah. like twenty dollars. Yeah, 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 that's cool. That's true, that's true. But um, okay. So mid August, uh, so and uh, what goes about like getting your like beer and wine license? It's just a process. You go through like uh, so city and county is different. You have different representatives. So depending where you're at, that's where you go. Um, you fill out essentially an application and you pay a fee, and then after that you have to go to a specific. Um, a court hearing? Like a court hearing. There's like a, a, a whole board committee, and you have to like stand in front of them. You know. God, how long is that process usually? Uh, first time I did it, uh, it took less than like 30 minutes. And then they what just... Do, what do they ask you? They just ask you like... like, if it, like do you know all the laws? All the laws and like <laughs> do you don't sell to minorities so, yeah. and stuff. So, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's a simple process. Yeah. But what are your uh, hours going to be? So we're thinking about doing a Wednesday through... Thursday, 11 to 8? Nine? 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 Yeah. 8 or 9? <laughs> hey, it looks like you guys got some stuff to talk about. Hey. <laughs> and then Friday and Saturday, you know, those are your busiest days. We want to do that for like 11 to 10. And then Sunday, we'll do 11 to 8. Uh, right. You, you got to have a Sunday because that's one thing I, I, I hate about here is like a lot of places on Sundays are not open. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you need uh, need more Sunday activities out there. Sunday. And here's one thing that I learned recently too with my business consultant. He told me, he's like, give yourself um, a break. He said, you're going to burn yourself out. You know, when, when he told me this, I was kind of like, he's got a point, you know? Like, working seven days straight all the time, go time, dude, I think yeah. that gets to you pretty pretty fast. Pretty, pretty fast. Yeah, because I did it when I was doing it in the planta. You know, that was just like two weeks, seven days straight, you know? Jesus <laughs> Christ, George. Yeah, you're just like, you're you just feel burned out, right? Yeah. And to me, it's like, I mean, I love, I'm doing something that I love, you know, but eventually you get kind of a do burnout, so, you know? So much of yeah. it. Man. Yeah, and I'll be in straight for seven days, it's crazy. Yeah, straight? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we're hey, talk- you missed right. a little bit of so, it. <laughs> so, shout out to all my like restaurant owners and business yeah. owners that do it seven days, bro. Props yeah. to bro, them, I, bro. I, f- I feel like I see um, uh, Miss Freya. You know, she, she uh, uh, lady yeah. opened up a Yadi. bar. Yeah, whatever. Is that her name? Yadi. Yadi. I always called her Miss Freya. Yeah, Yadira, Yadira. But um, whatever. She, she, um, she opened a bar, which is doing great, but. Yo, George, spill all every of that beer, shit on my leg. Every beer oh. that you've opened, George. Who the, who the fuck's shaking on you, bro? <laughs> hey, you still have to ask that question, man. You know me this long. Come but, on, um, Bozo. Bozo was over there giving me that. Look, man, he might have... What are you drinks? So getting your beer and wine license is uh, separate than getting, like, a liquor license? Yes, yes, yes it Ooh. is. So the other one is more strict, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, yeah. And, okay. it's, and it's, it's a higher quantity, too, that you have to pay up front. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Right, let me ask Miss uh, Miss Birria um, some questions, man, because I feel like you've been hogging up the whole spotlight. <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Yo, I'm Mrs. very you quiet. Know. I'm very quiet. <laughs> All right, man. So how for sure is this? Uh, and I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not pressuring a lot. I don't really like to talk. <laughs> so how did you feel when he came up to you with the idea of the whole, um, you know, selling Birria tacos? You're like, you're crazy. You're babe. crazy? <laughs> Out of my house? No. <laughs> no, I actually really liked it. Um like I've said, we've always um, worked in corporate Excellent. America, and we've always wanted to get out of it. Um, so I th- and we always knew we wanted to be business owners. So this was a, a good step to it, you know, to oh. to being our own bosses essentially. Okay. Are you guys gonna have uh, workers? Yes. Or, so yeah. how, about how many people? And you guys paying them, or are these these cousins <laughs> that are gonna like? <laughs> No, we're gonna pay him food. Yo, Calvin, Calvin's looking for a job. <laughs> I'm not. I've been on the point for three years, but I'm not looking for a job. <laughs> <at all. laughs> yeah. No, yes, we will. I, I think like about ten, probably. Okay. Yeah, oh, this wow. ten employees. Yeah. So and it's just whoever. Like, are we just taking applicants or is actually, like, do you guys no, already have? No, we we actually have our team already yeah, wow. created okay, yeah. and ten of the team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So uh, how long y'all y'all been married for? Uh, we've been together for nine years. Nine years. Nine years. Yeah. Since like 9/11. So, <laughs> <laughs> I went through. How's nine going through nine eleven? <laughs> Did y'all go through that together? No, we did not. No, but they were probably, because we were probably, what, like, four or five? Dude, you know what's I crazy was, about that? 
I don't remember. I don't know. I don't remember anything of 9 11 until I was like in seventh grade. Really? Well, yeah. probably because I happened, didn't I talk like about it. Grade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was and I was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was literally in the fucking. So- I'm like, when the fuck did this happen? <laughs> I, was, I was losing my mind. We should get these guys. We yeah. should. <laughs> you know, we should have got them. That's why I enlisted. You got all patriotic like five years <laughs> later. Like, what the fuck is. We just let them do this shit. <laughs> I'm dead going to the mall and fucking enlisting Enlist. right now. <laughs> so y'all were so right. you're seven years old. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all were right. Time out is the other side of the mall over there. Dude. Y'all were like 17, 18. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Like y'all yeah. first met. Okay. Mm, well, I, me and Eliezer have always actually known our whole life. I met him when we were like 10 or 11 probably. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we've, we've always known of each other. Yeah. Nah. So then y'all started dating like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 16, 17. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what happened. You call him by his full name like that? Or do you have a nickname for him? No, Elias that is what it is. Oh, so <laughs> Actually, Asad. when... Um, so the whole legal name. The whole legal name. <laughs> when but I first... That's how I met him. And I didn't then, think I'd be in trouble the whole time. Really? <laughs> yeah, my whole name like that? Jorge. When, uh, Jorge. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. Jorge Luis. Luis. I'm like, what did yeah. I do? Yeah. <laughs> When I met him, he was like, oh, hey, I'm Eliasad. And then one of my friends was like, oh, you're dating Junior. And I'm like, uh, who's Junior? And he <laughs> used to, he used to run track, and they would call him Pacheco, and I'd be like, who's Pacheco? <laughs> like, who is this figure? All these nicknames. <laughs> nicknames, yeah. But I'm like, Eliasad, then that just You used to run track? No, dude. Oh. I don't. Okay. No, Kelvin's the fastest San Leone boy, and he, he yeah. likes to race everybody. But I don't, I don't chase these hoes, though. So. <laughs> you, so you, you, you didn't run track? Would you play any sports in like high school and stuff? Who me? Yeah, yeah, I did. Sorry, I keep forgetting wearing yeah. glasses. I'm looking at you. No, yo, I, I was, yeah, I did track. I did track. God, we don't race them. Dude. What was it? Was your 800? What it was two? What's the? What was your 40 yard dash? Y'all do that? Is that just? I, I didn't do sprints. <laughs> I was more of a distance runner. <laughs> oh, shit, okay, okay. Right, what about I, uh, 400, 400 and 800. Then what was so we're your? doing like 800, doing 1600. And then, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So what was your uh, time frame? I can't remember my specific <laughs> time frames for that, but I was not faster nowhere. than Kelvin. <laughs> yeah, okay. maybe. No. Oh, what was your time? You got fucked. Up, buddy. <laughs> we have to settle this at the track, yeah. right? What says outside, man? We're gonna <laughs> fight. It's nothing, to do with, <laughs> nothing to do with racing. How, nah, does, dude, this, I, how I, does this I, settle? Who's the fastest? I don't want you to lose more teeth, dog. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Shit. Think about losing teeth is you're no longer scared of losing teeth. <laughs> that is true. That's true, bro. You got you, you got go into every fight face first. At one point, he goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, give me your best shot. I can take him off. I can take him off and throw him at you. Bro, if some dude, if some dude before we fight, he like, takes him out, I'm, dude, I'll, I'll call I'm not fighting you. I, I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, obviously yeah. you don't give a fuck about your life, so <laughs> I'm sure you don't give a shit about mine. I am fucking out of here. What do you mean you got a ton of fakes that takes an eyeball out? Hold my earrings. Hold my earrings, yeah. Hold my prosthetic leg. Hold, hold, hold my eyeball real quick. Let me go fuck him up. No way. Dude, Michael Bisping won the fucking UFC world oh, title with one eye. Yeah, uh, I didn't, we, nobody knew that until like after. Those doctors fucking suck. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> they're doing the exam. It's like, one eye's just not moving, but they're like, you're good, go ahead. This eye's no, perfect. Yeah. Oh man, he's just, he's just British. That's what happens <laughs> over there. <laughs> I don't even know what they're looking at, dog. Really, <laughs> <He's> <laughs> you're gonna be the most funniest goddamn thing you've ever said on this podcast, dude. Oh, man. So, mid August, uh, I'm excited to see. Uh, I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to taste it. Um, Puck, man, I don't know anything else you guys want to talk about before we close this out. Are we not seeing a baby, dude? What? What is oh, going on? They, they looked at each other like, hey, what are we doing here? <laughs> no, like, no, baby. The factory is closed. <laughs> yeah. No, just to me, he's like, I'm just really open minded. I'm just down to talk about whatever, yeah. wherever, you know? Okay, I got a yeah, question. Uh, I got a question. I got a question. <laughs> All right. Do you, so are you religious? Uh, I would say I'm not religious. Not religious? I'm not religious. So would you So would you say you're atheist? I wouldn't say I'm atheist either. So like, no. What is it called? The ghost? The ghost? What are you talking about? Whenever you believe in not God necessarily, but a higher power. There's, there's I, a word for it. I do believe in yes, a higher power. Yeah, we do and, believe and that's in the that. thing, too, that I'm kind of on a journey right now, too, as well. It's kind of like... A spiritual journey. A spiritual journey, yeah. Cause you like, do drugs or no? Uh, I heard that shit helps with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. Well, you see Joe Rogan? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, lately, He's I mean, cool, yeah. I mean, I, I, I to, to be open, you know, I've been on on THC, you know, because that has con- kind of helped me and, and kind of, uh, you know, because a, a lot has happened to me, a lot, you know, in a sense, it's kind of like. Like even right now, my therapist is like, you know, the suggestion of uh, meds, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like, I kind of want to do my research more on that first, you know, and. Uh, 
but yeah, I mean, I, I like to be creative. I like to be, and sometimes I feel like my I get stuck where my brain doesn't let me do that. I just feel like I'm st stuck in a box. Right. You know, but um, yeah, that's that's been helping me. Uh, connecting with nature has been helping me. Uh, but I do, in my beliefs, you know, we're thoughts in a higher power. But I'm in that journey of, you know, every every culture, every race has their beliefs, their thoughts on different, you know, a god is different in each culture. Yeah. So to me, it's like, I would love to learn someone else's culture and what they think, you know, because with, with the Mexicans, they think like, oh, the Virgin Mary and mm. the saints, and they're like, kind of like trying to like belittle <laughs> you. There's no way she was a virgin, dog. You know? <laughs> she might have lied to that nigga and told him that. <laughs> right? you and that couldn't be me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't be me. <laughs> couldn't be me. <laughs> Boy, that's a that's a white baby. You know, sure. That is a baby from the Caucasus Mountains. Not a light skinned baby. That is a white child. I don't know where the fuck you got Dylan from, but that ain't my baby. Say hi, Daddy. Say hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Whose goddamn white baby is that? This is your baby, okay? He's just light skinned. Mm hmm. That one might be mine. That one right there. I'm not totally sure. Just because you name him Darren don't mean he belong to Darren. But I don't care what this baby's name is. This baby is rice-skinned, but not light-skinned. That is a white child. That is Caucasian from the mountains of Caucasus. That is a Slavic baby, a Viking from Iceland. That's a good... That baby got 730 as a credit rating right now as an infant. <laughs> but like, again, like, that same goes with, with everything. You know, even with food. Like, I want to explore other other foods mm -hmm. and I want to explore different gods you know whether that make me look like a bad person Christian whatever you Terrible, want to be. but it's just to me it's like that's, bad, yeah, yeah, that's definitely just me. bad Christian <laughs> for sure why don't it to me Religion is just fucking. It's, it's kind of crazy to me. We just we just believe it. We just it's just so. But like, why should we so have normal. to believe it? <laughs> why exactly? Why? Because our parents yeah. told us to. No, I get, I get into it with my parents all the time too. Because I'm like physically, uh, like <laughs> a lot of fights. I, I, feel, I feel like religion is just uh, something to make people like look like forward comfort. to, like a hope, some yeah. kind of hope to look forward to. Because like. I've been to a couple different churches like and Baptist. deal with deaths. People don't know how to deal with death, so yeah, yeah like, true. no one knows that's what true. it's like. I mean, I've been in Baptist, Catholic, Christian, and like they're all basically like the same idea, but mm -hmm. they have some things that are like different here, different and there. beliefs. Mm -hmm. So yeah. then they'd be like, "Oh, this is bad," but then the other religion would be like, "Oh, it's okay," but like you just gotta like uh, fucking say, "Hey, I fucked up," and this is what it is. Yeah. And the same thing with like Halloween. Some some like churches are like, "Oh, Halloween's for the devil." Some churches are like, "Oh, you can go to Halloween. It's whatever." Same thing with drinking. You can drink. As long as you don't fucking do something else. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So then I'm like, there's one book and like all these people like spun different things off of it just to like whatever benefited them at the time. And then depending on like, yeah, like, like you said at the time and depending on like what time period you were in, people used to use it to like for racism and yeah. like to, to control. Yeah, yeah, like literally they'll take any scripture and just flip it and say, yeah. Oh, like King Whatever. Edward, man. He just wrote his own fucking book because he didn't like the original book. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That dude wasn't even exactly. a king, really, man. He just called himself <laughs> that on Instagram. And, <laughs> and like the question you asked, you know, about like if you're religious, dude, when I've asked, like, to talk to older people and I tell them like, <laughs> what I believe in, they kind of like want to like belittle me or yeah. Yeah. Shame like, you know? shame I was like, dude, like, why? Like, this is why I mm -hmm. don't go to church or this is why I don't yeah. want to be part of your, your That's group. That's crazy, man. People yeah. die for that shit. Yeah, yeah, like, yo, you think I'm crazy but you believe in a guy that turned water into wine, dog. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That like, guy's an alcoholic, honestly. Yo, <laughs> you know? yo, the people were fucking thirsty as fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yo, man, why are you going to turn quality H2O into wine, <laughs> man? It just sounds... We've sick. been walking for weeks. We're in Egypt. It's hot as fuck in this motherfucker. What, I, I, one thing I do kind of maybe... um. Uh, is a Skeptical? reincarnation. No, I, I've, I've always, I've always that. liked the idea, and like, <laughs> if I were to believe anything in reincarnation, is like, you know, how you were in this life is gonna affect how you are. You know, if you're a piece of shit in this life, maybe you'll, you know, be reincarnate way. into a fucking, you'll, you'll be in, into a poor family or something. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I feel like uh, or you'd be an orphan. Deja vu. Damn, falls we in, fucked up falls in the past into, life, huh? Falls into like reincarnation because like you ever like feel like you've done like you're doing something new you've yeah. never done before, and it just feels so natural. You to feel you. like you lived it, yeah. And like it's just. Like how? Like how would you feel that if you've never done it before? Mm -hmm. right. So like, I mean, I feel like reincarnation is like for real. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You could be like on your seventh life. Yeah, yeah. And like you never know. You never know. Oh, well, this is kind of random and off topic, but going back to Beauty Bros too, what I was developing there was kind of like a, a work culture, kind of relating to the youth, right? Because we we're talking about religion and stuff. Mm -hmm. Dude, I feel like right now, like 
our generation is kind of like lost. Yeah, no, we're fucked. Like, dude, honestly. like sometimes I work for my kid too because I'm like, you know, we have teacher friends and I ask them like, what's going on in school? And you talk about like these shootings and you talk about, it's you know, uh, pronouns and yeah. people like, you know, and it's like. I'm fucking like Bill Cosby. Dude, and you know, Greg, right now, I'm, I'm actually following a, a comedian right now, Andrew Schultz, and he's talking oh, about, fuck. he's talking yeah. about like being like uncensored. Like mm-hmm. we're being so soft talking about some of these subjects and like. They people look at you differently because of the way you view things, mm-hmm. or you can't say this, you can't say that. And I was like, dude, where, why are we getting to this point in life where, like, everybody's so sensitive? Yeah, everybody's mm-hmm. so sensitive. And it's mm-hmm. like, you can put any little opinion out there, and then you get attacked for it, or they or you'll get sued. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you get sued, or yeah. you're in this like yeah. cancel culture, yeah. like, oh, let's cancel this guy, you know? Or you call somebody the wrong, like, yeah, the wrong thing, a her or a she or a he, dog, and it's like, bro, yeah. you look like a straight up dude. I'm not supposed yeah. to know you decided yeah, yesterday to be yeah. a girl, yeah. dog. Yeah. Grow your hair out or something, dog. Give me some context yeah. clues. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was listening to his, uh, to his podcast. Uh, it's like a scary podcast. So they just tell like scary stories and stuff like that. <clears throat> and uh, so it's a, it's a couple. It's a wife and a, and a husband that do it. And then the husband, he like finds like stories on the internet and stuff like that. And the wife gets uh, stories from the fans. So the fans email them like real life stories that they had. <clears throat> and... Um, so while the husband does it, the wife listens, and, like, after the story's over, like, she inputs whatever she thought at the time, and, like, vice versa. When the wife does it, the husband does the same thing. So the husband has these little, like, squishy, like, stress ball toys, but they're, like, in little figures. And uh, he ended up calling, like, one, like, a, a, a girl name. So it was, like, a female name. And uh, the wife had said she, like, oh, you know, she, like, it would be crazy if she had, like, breasts or, like, any kind of, like, defining features to be as a girl. I think she said, uh, but like, oh no, but she could be non binary or something like that. Like, just she just said it, like, nothing crazy or anything like that. I didn't think anything of it. I was like, oh, you know, she's just being whatever. <clears throat> like, 10 minutes into the show, she's like, hey, I just want to apologize to everybody that's going through their transitioning phase, this and that. It's crazy. Like, uh, I didn't mean to offend anybody, this and that. And I'm like, you're talking about an object. Like, you're not talking exactly. about a person. person yeah. So, like, why would you, like, feel like you have to defend, defend yourself. yourself over that? Now imagine in Spanish, bro. In Spanish, everything is la, la mesa, el carro. Like, it always has a gender. Yeah. Yeah. So, you don't call my car el, dog. My car's yeah. a fucking like, girl. Yeah, masculine. <laughs> and it's not kind of uses of stuff. So, I mean, you, I mean, even recently now, I've been having conversations with my daughter, and it's like, what are they teaching you at school, or, yeah. or, or what are you learning? She's like, look at this dance. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah, these exactly TikToks. what she's doing. Do these TikToks, you know? <laughs> oh, she been practicing? Oh, I'll be, I'll be on that shit. bust it out right now, bust it out. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be doing all shit. But yeah, me. I mean, even the other day, I was kind of joking about it, and I was telling her, like, I'm like, man, I hope our kids fucking learn something out of out of us, you know? Because I'm yeah. like, they're... they're I feel like they will, man. You're a very intelligent man, dude. You know? Yeah. I feel but like I've learned stuff from you, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. And that's like... And I'm a grown man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> A grown, not five nine, <laughs> hundred and sixty five pound man. You said not five nine, so you're not five nine. I think I'm five nine. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said not five. No, he nine. did. He did say yeah. not. Yeah, five nine. Um, depressed a little bit sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> right, it's normal, bro. It's normal. It's normal. And depression is yeah. good, man. Gibber, you ever think like, yo, if I was like six foot one, I'd probably rule the fucking world. I'd be happier for sure, dude, for sure. I'd be all like, bro, if I was six foot one. I'd probably be president. I think that's the only thing I was talking about. <laughs> you, ever, you ever stand on something and you're like, yo, somebody's whole like point of view is this different. all the time. Yes. Different. Yeah. Like, this nigga could see like dust on top of TVs and shit. <laughs> 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 That <laughs> shit look dusty as fuck. <laughs> bro, if you sure, dog, somebody talking to your house, your house looks dusty, bro. Because a lot of dust you can't see. Yeah. And this motherfucker going to be like, yo, I'm good. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I think being too tall, just that just sounds fucking inconvenient. Yeah, man. When you're walking through a door, you got like fucking dust. Dude, you got to what? Down. You got to like pre-order all your clothes. That's what I tell girls when I start talking to them and they said they had tall boyfriends. I'm like, oh my God, that must have been terrible. 5'9 <laughs> is pretty tall, though. 5'9 is pretty tall, I think, yeah. though. No, I'm, I'm good with my height. You know, <laughs> I, I, I enjoy cars, dude. They like most of those cars are so uh, compact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like if you were tall, you can't enjoy that. You know, that's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Anyways, this has been the Sound the Only Boys as always. Um, thank you guys for coming. <laughs> thank you, thank um, you for inviting. No, excited, excited for the new spot. And yeah, shout out to Beer Bros. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> new location. Yeah, bro. shout out big shout out, big shout out. S L B, yeah. The uh, B yeah, bro and sis. The what did you say? It was yeah. eighteen. <laughs> Remember the address yeah. of the? Uh, it's eighteen oh six South Dixie, South Dixie Highway. Highway. We right. do have a driveway available. I mean, drive okay, through. Okay, available. drive through. But so we're only gonna do a uh, mobile order and call in order. Call in orders. We have an app coming. 
hang out, guys. Do have a nap. Oh, that's so hard. Dude, if you guys need us for the grand opening, man, we'll be there, dude. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah uh, Kelvin. Well, like I said, we whore him out. So <laughs> we can let him sing. <laughs> sing a little. No, yeah. let's show up at the Stanley Oni boys, man. We're entertaining. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can yeah. do a uh, trivia. We've been doing do tri- oh, yeah, trivia. Yeah, yeah. 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 Leon. Yeah. Um, I ain't gonna. I showed up fucking drunk to that dude. It was bad. <laughs> I'm like, bro. I'm no, you did, you did okay. Yeah, yeah, you, did you did okay. fine. You did fine. No, it's because I'm. As long as you have shades on. Yeah. You're good. yeah. <laughs> like, you have the shades on. Uh, the thing no, is, I just, is, he didn't have shades. I, I go through life just drunk all the time. So everybody yeah. just thinks it's normal, but I'm just drunk all the <laughs> I'm time. I'm just drunk. So, yeah. Makes sense. Uh, Anyways, as always, baby, it's been the Stanley Oni Boys. Thank you guys.